What's up? What's up? Day two of Barcelona trip. I'm here right now. And today we're here at Dry Creek. First trail, Mescal. Mescal is one of the most popular trail here in Sedona. It is rated as blue. It starts off with a lot of climbs, but once you get to the top, it's super fun and flowy. Mescal is also so scenic that I had to take out my drone. Drone time! Let it fly! Flying a drone here is super fun until All right, I just lost my drone in the middle of this mountain Let's see if I can recover it. And yes, I lost my drone. It ran out of battery and it had to emergency land somewhere in the middle of this valley. Time to check its last location. Hopefully I can track it. Bababa ako dun sa pinababay na nalaglag yung drone ko eh. I mean na nalaglag sa gitna. Yeah. All right, the crew's informed. Okay, okay. Hiking down this valley starts now drone search and rescue let's go after like 30 minutes of hiking and tracking i finally found it yeah! finally found my drone so so now I'm walking back all the way there. Uh, yeah, it's hiking and biking in Sedona. I did it all. So it landed in somewhere in the middle of this. So I have to go down to get it. But safe and sound now. It's in my hip, hip pack. And let's continue to ride. Mescal. All right, Mescal. This section of Mescal is my favorite. Both nerve-wracking and fun at the same time. You have to watch where you're going. All right, a little sketchy. At the end of this section, the trail will slowly fade, so watch your step. Holy shit, let's hike a bike. Sh oh, shoot, I'm gonna die. All right, finally, I caught up with the crew. Thank you guys for waiting for me. Hi, I'm back. Hey. <laughs> I hike, I hike. After Mescal Trail, we reach Deadman's Pass. 
It's a white flowy section with a lot of loose rocks. Oh, Nicole! This trail is great for beginners and intermediate riders. It also has a lot of small drops and features that you can bunny hop over. <laughs> Alright. Eerie lower. This part of Eerie is a little uphill at the beginning. Hiking. But then downhill at the end. Go Nicole! Lower Eerie is similar to Dead Man's Pass. Mostly packed dirt and some loose rocks. Yep. What is it? It's a this one, this one ah! Oh, this is nice downhill, not not uphill. And now we reach Coxcomb. The first one third portion of Coxcomb, the section that we did, is a high speed straight cross country trail. According to trail port, much of the trail was once an old jeep road, so several sections are wider than a normal Sedona single track. Most of the trails in Sedona are multi-use, so beware of horses, hikers, and trail runners. Huh. So it's pretty oh, picking their brain a little bit. Oh, it's not watch out for horses. <laughs> A little bit down. Okay. A little bit down. There you go. Go. Down mostly I'll up. Save my battery for the road down stuff. Go. Go. Check wagon. All right. Check wagon. Hi. Hiker. Hi. Sorry, sorry. Check wagon is our trail going back to the parking lot. This trail has the most hikers that we saw. Jack Wagon is also one of the most scenic trails here in Dry Creek. Oh, biker! Oh, and this trail is also bi-directional. Oh, 
Sorry. Thank you guys. Yeah. All right, last push to the parking lot. Yeah, I don't want to go up. I'm done going up. All right, that's our day two of Sedona trip. Again, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for our day three video.